Need a little magic for your Monday? We've got you covered. Liberty Magic on Liberty Avenue is Pittsburgh's only theater dedicated to one-of-a-kind magic experiences presented by the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust. It's a small, it's an intimate space, so the performance is up close. I can say that because I have been there. It's a great space, and it really is mind-blowing. Now, be prepared to be amazed right here, right now, because we have the new resident artist at Liberty Magic in the studio with us right now. Yes, we do welcome magician, or I guess we should say mind reader, Mark Tolan. Live in studio, Mark. We are a little bit nervous because someone with your skill set has a lot of dangerous information. If you can, in fact, read minds, how is this a skill you're born with, or what? No, no, I don't claim any supernatural abilities. It's all for entertainment. I, I'm not trying to swindle people out of their money. So <laughs> that's, that's what I say in the show. There's a disclaimer <laughs> in the show, but the point really is to add mystery back into people's lives. Love I it. feel like. You know, when, when we're so interconnected in today's world, we're missing mystery. You know, we have access to all this info. So my job and kind of the joy of what I do is to give people a little bit of mystery so they can go away not knowing something, nothing they can Google, nothing they can find out online, and they have to go away and just reconcile with that and enjoy it. So tell us what we can expect when, when we see your show. You've been going on for two weeks now. Two weeks, okay. six-week uh, residency while I'm here. Um, and in fact, I swear the audience to keep the show a mystery. So the show is a mystery. So I can beat around the bush for you today, but you'll have to come see it if you want to know. I pick people at random. I have them think of random things, and then I guess them, right? So it'll be very kind of general, like maybe a number or, or a word from a book or something like that. And then we get more specific. The other night I told a young lady that she had a secret tattoo. Sounds pretty normal, except her mom was in the audience and didn't know yet. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, the oh, you blew so, the lid off that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's her fault. She shouldn't have thought of that, right? Right. So, um, yeah. So that's the kind of things I do. So can we do some of this now? We absolutely can. You want to try something? Yeah. Here's the thing: the show's split in half. Half okay. the show is taking thoughts out of people's minds, and the other half is is influencing, trying to send a thought. So I thought I'd do the other half of that today with you guys and see maybe if I can influence what, the thought. Sure. We can we're very easily influenced. Yeah, yeah, yeah in, in a way. In a way. Yes. <laughs> I know. Yeah. We're, so here, this we're is easy to If you go and you know this, David, if you go to Liberty Magic, you get these nice little programs. I'm using it as an envelope today, so there's something secret in here, and Sunny, I'll okay. give that to you to hang on to. Okay. Um, first, though, let me grab a calculator here so we can do this, because I need to just come up with some random numbers here. So, David, um, just first number that pops in your head, I want you to go with it. Number between 1 and 10. Don't say it. Just oh, I, I've got go it. it. Okay, type yeah. that into okay. uh, the phone there. All right. I type can look, in right? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Sunny it doesn't matter okay. if I see. Uh, we'll hit times there. Same thing for you. First number that pops in your head, number from 1 to 10, type that in. It Let's hit equals. Got a total there. Yep. Total okay. There, yes. Let's do it again. So um, let's hit. Uh, we'll hit times. Do a two-digit number now. First one that pops in your head, just go for it right there. We'll hit equals again. Okay. And then um, we'll do this and do like maybe a four-digit number. A four-digit four yeah, number. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're pushing things. Okay. All, all right. right. And then just hit this equals there. Let's see what equals. Happens. Okay. Okay. Ooh. That's a big number. That That's is a big, a big number. number. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Five million nine hundred one thousand seven hundred and one. Does that number mean anything to you? It's just for kind of random. Yes. Well, it's a nice number. Okay. I mean, like, but I wish my bank that right there. Right. Yeah. Right. Me too. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. So okay. I put something in here. I think you'll find this fascinating. The goal here is really for people to pick up on what I'm thinking of. So let me show you this. In here, a little slip of paper, and Sunny, I'll have you help me with this. <laughs> just hold that corner right there, Sunny. It says. No, please. It says oh. the number will be. Let's see. Five million nine hundred one thousand seven hundred one. The number will be. Five nine Whoa. zero one seven zero one. Stop it! Right and just in case right you're now. wondering, I wrote it in here just so we'd have a little confirmation. There it is. What? Five nine zero How one. How is that possible? That's insanity. Here's that? the deal. Here's the joy of what I do. Yes, this is fun and everything, but every show is different since I work with people, right? And the, the audience brings something different. So that girl with the tattoo or something will never be there again, right? Right. So that's why this had to be this number for you guys here. It couldn't be a different number. You know what I mean? Because you yeah, guys are different sure, from other people. So, right? So Absolutely. let me tell you about this because yeah. this is different. Um, if it had been, I'd been somewhere else in the world, this would be a different number. It had to be for you guys here today because this is not just a number. It's this number. I think you'll find it interesting. If you hold it like that, it's actually PTLCBS. That's the number you guys <laughs> Oh That's wow! The total. I am <laughs> tripping out right now. That I am blown away by that. And all you did was ask us numbers and press multiply. It's not like you led us down a path. Oh yeah, wow! This is insane. Oh Mark, wow! <laughs> so you've, you're there for six weeks total. Six weeks. I'm curious, what type of like prep for you goes into this kind of a show? Because I feel like you probably have to have a lot of energy. You have to be very on your game. Like, is this something you've got your routine before the show starts? You make sure that you're all fueled up and ready. Absolutely, I'm a, I'm a student of the theater, so yeah. I, I have a background in theater. I studied acting and and writing and improv at USC out in Los Angeles. 
I, um, I approach it as a theatrical performer. So yes, it's very much energy. It's all kind of um, gearing up to do that. But it is about being in the moment and present mm -hmm. with the people. Because if you aren't, and you aren't kind of engaging with the audience there, it's mm -hmm. not a good show because they bring so much to the table. If I don't meet them in the middle, it's, it's not something special. And is like this a be. gift you had as a kid, or have you learned this? If anything, it's just a performance gift. I've always wanted to be on stage. My earliest memory is like community theater or something That's like crazy. that, right? So yeah. I've always wanted to perform. But it's not supernatural. It's not psychic. Okay. And I say that in the show. It's just a mystery. But the good thing is, if it feels real, but I tell you I'm not real, somewhere in the middle of that Venn diagram is a mystery, and that's what you get to enjoy and take I, out of it. I love that he said you're talking about bringing people back to the present. We are so involved in our Absolutely. social media and our phones these days right. that to have an experience where you connect with people and you feel their energy, that's awesome. It's, pretty special. it's so great to have like 70 people at Liberty Magic off their phones, make eye contact. Most, over half the audience will get to participate, which is really, really fun and that keeps me on my toes. And you Beautiful. guessed before the show, Jill, our show's producer, her birthday. Well, see, right? I was wondering about you because I think we're, you're a summer birthday. That's what I was thinking, yes? I'm uh, the last day of summer, actually. To, um, well, are you a Leo? I'm a Libra. Oh, okay. Libra. Oh, okay. a little late. You're a Libra as well. That's what I was thinking. Because we yeah. were, yeah, um, end of September or something, right? Yeah. Because yeah. I'm October 1st, we're the same sign, but we're close. Oh, uh, I'm not, what's your I'm day? I'm a Virgo Libra cusp. I'm the 20th. Oh, you're a little earlier. You're yeah. September uh, 28th or something like that? Yeah. <gasps> is that right? Yeah, okay, that's good. exactly good. right. Wow, that's creepy. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow, that is we're in, creepy. We're in All right. Here. A bunch of Libras, right? <laughs> yeah, three Libras. Creepy and couch. fun. Good job, yeah, Mark. Exactly. Yeah. Thanks so, for having me. So it. go yeah. see Mark because this is a lot of fun. Come see Liberty Magic's new magician in residence, Mark Toland. It is presented by, or he, not a magician. We keep saying that. Sorry. Anything you yeah. want, mind reader? You are a mind reader. All around great guy, Mark yes, Toland. Yes, it is there presented <laughs> by the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust and runs through August 4th. Look for showtimes and tickets online, and you'll find the link at pittsburghtodaylive.com. My mind is still blown. <laughs>